guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do another unboxing video for you. Before we get started, if you are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. Become a part of my beauty army. For those who are already a part of my beauty army, welcome back to my channel. Today I got an unboxing video for you again. It's going to include two birch boxes as promised, an Ipsy bag, and Sephora play. Okay, so I'm going to start with my Ipsy bag. I know I'm really late getting this up, but it has been a hectic month, and I have a really, really huge announcement for something I'm working on. I can't tell you just yet, but you guys are going to freaking love it. I'm like dying inside to announce it, and there's going to be a video coming up probably within the next two weeks on what I'm up to. So I'm super sorry for getting these videos up to you late, but I promise it's worth the wait. Okay, so the first thing that I'm grabbing out of my Ipsy bag is the actual bag itself, and... Two face masks! Face masks are my favorite. You guys already know. So these are pretty awesome. These are by Secret Garden. And this one is olive oil. And this one is camellia oil. It is a two set mask system. It looks like it's got a little bit of the oil up in the top corner. And then it's got the actual face mask to it on. Pretty excited about these. Uh, it looks like they may be Hmm. They're made in Korea because on the top, I don't know if you can tell, they are in another language, so. Ah, so excited about these. Okay, opening up my Ipsy bag. This month, it looks like it's got like some sort of mermaid or goddess, green goddess on the front. It's super cute. It's a really nice like canvas material. The first thing I'm pulling out is this Tarte, and I'm not mad. This is Tarte Wonder, and I love this, and I've gotten it already before my Ipsy bag, so shame on you, Ipsy, but you know what? Don't shame on you because I love this thing. It's like a little crayon. And Tarte is like such a good brand, so I'm so not mad about this. But I see you, Ipsy. I see you sending me repeat items. I got you. Next item in the bag is Mark Anthony Nourishing Argon Oil of Morocco. It looks like it's a yep, it's a deep hydrating conditioning treatment and it's sulfate free. It's exotic argan oil and keratin, restores, fortifies, and nourishes weak, dry, damaged hair, protects color, and it says use weekly. This is pretty cool. This is like a decent sized product. Oh my god, it smells so good. I am mad at you. Okay, the next thing I'm pulling out of the box is this Ofra Cosmetics Glow. This is in the shade. It's a highlighter slash eyeshadow. It says, you glow girl, made for you by Do That. This is what it looks like. Okay. Okay. Check this. Yes, that glow though. Love it. Ofra, come through for me. Come through. Moving right on to the very next thing in the bag is a Formula X nail color. This is in the color Doll Face. It is super tiny. It's a very, very, very tiny one. And I'm really surprised because Ipsy's really good about like sending full size nail polishes, so I'm a little surprised. I'm not mad. But a little surprise. It's not quite the color that I would use, but it's okay. Moving on to our two birch boxes for the month. This, this is July and this is August. So let me hit up the July box first for you. Okay, so the first thing I'm pulling out of the box for July birch box is this thermal spring water. It's a can of water. It's thermal spring water and it's soothing and softening. Is it just supposed to be like hydrating? I don't know about this. Next thing I'm pulling out of the box is this beauty protector. It is a protecting and detangling treatment. Oh, it smells, oh my gosh. It smells so good. And detangling is always good for me because I got super curly hair. Next thing I'm pulling out of the box is this Marcel mascara. It's called Extension Plus Curl. And like one of the most important things about mascaras for me is the wand. I mean, I, I guess that's like most important for anybody, but like I'm super picky about my wand, okay? Let's check this one out. I've heard good things about this mascara, so I'm pretty excited to try this. Next thing I'm pulling out of the box is totally like a blah blah for me. I'm like not very excited. It's a CC cream, but it's a like when I say sample size, it's a sample size. I mean look how tiny. I mean compared to like what is this? This is a daily correct CC cream with omega and omega threes and omega six. The next thing I'm pulling out of the box is this Balance Me treatment. It's a Radiance face mask. Oh, 
face masks. We already talked about this once. It's a face mask, polish, hydrates, and soothes for all skin types. It's 98% natural. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that. It's got like little flecks of something in there. Ooh, it kind of smells really strong like chemicals, but it's got these little beads. <coughs> wow, that's, that's really strong. I inhaled that and it made me cough. Good. This is really strong smelling like chemicals. That is everything in the July Birch Box. Not my favorite box. Moving on to last month, the month of August Birch Box. See if it doesn't mean anything more for me. This is this box. Look how cute this is. Like this is so cute. This is like a good transition from like summer to fall. Okay, so with Birchbox, what I've noticed, and I don't know if this is an every month thing because I just started Birchbox, but it looks like you can pick out one. They give you like three items and you get to choose one that you'll for sure get in your Birchbox. And I chose the Badlands RNCO Dry Shampoo Paste, which is pretty cool. So this is what it looks like. And you just kind of like, I'm gonna scoop just a little bit out because I don't wanna waste it. It's like a legit paste, and you take it, and you rub it between your, look, it's already turned. Okay, so you rub it between your fingers, and it turns into a powder, and then you can use it to like texturize, slash like remove any oil in your hair. But I'm really excited to use this and see like how well this works for long hair and for curly hair. The next thing I am pulling out of the box, looks like it's another hair product. It is, it's another beauty protector product and this is a protectant oil. Keeps hair healthy, shiny, happy. Beauty protector oil will guard against UV rays and heat while it smooths and strengthens the quality working tirelessly. I love beauty oils. The detangler was pretty cool. This seems pretty cool. This is a nice size oil. Like this is a pretty decent size like trial. Next thing I am pulling out of the box I'm super excited about, it is a Stella Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color Patina. Oh yeah. The color and the pigment pale on this is like insane. So check this out. Ready? It's like a mauve purpley pink. Oh, it's like a mauve purpley pink and like this, this can get it during fall. I'm so excited about this one. So the next thing I'm pulling out of my August Birch Box is a Vesanti. I hope it's in there, all right. Vesanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. This is an exfoliating cleanser. You know how much I love these. I get nervous though because I do have sensitive skin, but I am always down to try new cleansers, especially since I do have sensitive skin. It's much easier for me to get a sample size than to buy a whole bottle. Like, absolutely hate it. So let's try this. I'm gonna put it on the inside of my wrist. Okay. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely like a, oh yeah. This has got just a little tiny, this is, okay, so I had this thing one time from Mary Kay, and it was like a little microdermabrasion you could use technical on your lips and your hands, and this is like that exact quality. It's got like little crystals and it's soft. Oh, it smells really clean. And it's gentle. I like this. This is so cute. I need some. I like this. It's really cute. And it smells really good. The last thing I'm pulling out of my August Birch Box is this Manicador. This is a bronzer highlighter duo. Never heard of the brand. Just says it's a bronzer highlighter. Cool. Moving on to the final box, which is my Sephora Play Box. And I'm pretty excited for this one. I feel like this one, to me, is my favorite and has like the best stuff in it. So this month's bag is these cute little eyelashes. How adorable is that? And it's a drawstring bag, just like last month. So the first thing I'm pulling out of the box is this Urban Decay Perversion Bigger Blacker Batter Mascara. Oh, I like mascaras. We just talked about this. Let's see. Let's get straight to the wand because that's what we're really here for, let's be honest. Okay, so the wand is interesting. It's not one of those like Silicone style ones, it's more kind of like an old school one, which I'm wondering if that gives more of like the bigger, fuller, thicker lashes. I will use this to let you know. I mean, Urban Decay bought out good products, let's be honest, so this is a win for me. Next thing I am pulling out of the bag is our scent for the month, and the scent is called Clean Reserve. Let's hope it smells clean. Try this.
Ooh. This sounds really corny, but it kind of smells like fabric detergent. Or like fabric softener. Like downy almost. Oh, this smells so good. Ooh, I like this one. I This is a win for me. I might have to get this. It's just called Clean Reserve. Oh, it's, it's warm cotton scent. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like when you check into like a really nice hotel and you know how everything just smells so fresh and so clean. That's what this smells like. Total win for me. So the next thing I'm pulling out of the bag is this Sephora. This is a Sephora brand and this looks like it is a contour eye pencil, 12 hour wear crayon. Okay, so my Sephora crayon is in the color Love Affair. Let's try this. What is this, made of steel? Oh my God. goes on really smooth so on here it looks purpley but on my actual hand it's definitely like kind of purplish but it comes off as more like a metallic purplish brown and I'm not mad about that it's definitely a good fall color it's definitely really creamy so I could see putting this on my lid and then going back in with like a pencil brush and kind of <laughs> are you kidding me right now <laughs> <laughs> Are you done, Sneezy? <laughs> I like it. Next, second, oh, nope. Third to last thing in here I'm gonna grab. It is a complete eye renewal balm. Mmm, eye renewal balm. I've never used one of these. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It is an eye cream. Bag's on deck over here, so I'm sure I will use this. The very next thing is a Makeup Forever Artist Shadow. It's definitely something you could use as a combo. Let's see what the color payout is on here. Oh wow, okay. It is not as dark as I thought it would be, but it's not bad. It's definitely a good crease slash transition color, and it's kind of foily, a little bit of highlight-ish. Got that good shimmer going on without being like glittery. But it's nice, it's very creamy, feels very blendable. High color payout for sure because that was just one little swatch, so. I'm pretty excited. The last thing I'm pulling out of the bag, let's hope it's the best thing. Okay, so the next thing I'm pulling out is by Lancome. Let's see what we got. Okay, oh, 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 okay. It's an oil of sorts. And I put way, smells good, I put way too much of it on. I expected it to be a lotion and soda bottle, but it's, it's an oil, and it is supposed to be glowing, which I am trying to rub the massive amount in that I put on, and it definitely gives a little bit of a sheen, like that glow, like like a natural misty glow, not like a, I just got back from the gym, I'm really sweaty glow, but just like a healthy skin glow, and it smells really good. I like it. So those are all the boxes that I have for you this month, including the two Birch boxes, the Epsi, and the Sephora box. I'm super happy with the Sephora box for sure. Birch box, I'm still mm, trying to feel it out, and Epsi was good as always. Thanks so much for tuning in this week, Beauty Army. I hope you enjoy the unboxing. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy my unboxing videos, and if you have any suggestions on other subscriptions you'd like me to try, please leave that in the comments below. Don't forget, if you aren't subscribed, to go ahead and subscribe now. Be a part of my beauty army. Listen, guys, I have a huge announcement coming up for Halloween, so please stay tuned. I promise you. It took me forever to get this video out, but it is so going to be worth it because I have been cooking up a lot of stuff for the month of October. I love you guys all so very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!